children this is the fifth session living beings excrete many activities takes place in the body of organisms as a result things which are unwanted for the body are also generated these have to be thrown out of the body if not body gets affected yes really whatever the body is a excretion of what is tissue and will get the sweat it will come out and the next uh, urinals it is also coming out of the body these are all unwanted matter animals throw out unwanted things of the body in the form of carbon dioxide sweat feces and urine they have special organs for this purpose plants also give out carbon dioxide during respiration dry leaf stem rotting parts all these separate from the plants they really they release excess water to the atmosphere through leaves yes so sometimes we are observing in leaves also we will find uh, there is a uh, water drops it it means uh, the plants are releasing excess water to the atmosphere through leaves as a result plants do not dry up now here they have given a small experiment please try to do take a potted plant cover the plant with a plastic cover and tie it tightly at the stem portion keep it in sunlight for 1 to 2 hours observe the plastic cover closely share your observation in the class or with your now you are at home you can uh, share your experience with your uh, brothers or mummy now just you look at this picture when you tied with the plastic cover only the leaves uh, about the stem what will observe you can observe the some uh, what uh, some droplets of uh, water now living beings reproduce now look at six pictures are there now here the mother is uh, taking care of uh, her baby here the cow and calf and dog and puppy hen and chick and duck and ducklings and uh, here the lion and cubs observe all these organisms and their young ones in the above picture young ones of each organism resemble that respective organism yes it is uh, there are uh, some resemblance is there which gave birth to them the process of an organism giving birth to young ones is called reproduction now this is the definition of a reproduction here they have given some uh, four sentences or statements uh, you have to read and say which is the right or wrong if it is uh, wrong you have to correct the statement organisms continue their generation by reproduction yes it is a generation by reproduction only yes this is right due to the reproduction the organisms in the environment get food yes we are getting food and due to the plants uh, due to the animals we are all getting a uh, food for uh, reproduction is seen only in animals can you see only reproduction in the animals no we can see in a uh, birds uh, in human beings also so it is wrong reproduction is seen in all living organisms there will not be any danger in the environment by over reproduction of a single organism if only one single organism reproduction if you seen in the environment it is a danger danger is there with single organism then it is wrong now here some animals carry out reproduction by laying eggs and uh, directly giving birth to the young ones you have to write it make it two columns laying eggs uh, and uh, directly giving birth you have to write a few examples here and few eggs laying eggs means uh, birds uh, snakes uh, it is laying by eggs uh. directly giving birth to uh, young ones means human beings and uh, animals plants reproduce through seeds and stems you know that uh, when you sow the seed in the soil we are going to see plant and here they have given the list list of the plant that reproduce through seeds and stems here through seeds example you should write and through stem we have to write it and java weed grams are you can write your own example also through seeds 
and through stem uh, we are seeing a uh, hibiscus we can see and rose plant also we can see if you are taking one stem and uh, just uh, putting into the soil then uh, automatically the stem along the stem uh, the new plant also it will come you can observe life cycle of a plant here they have given the box what we are sowing the first uh, we are sowing the seed and from that uh, what we can see plant will come after plant flower after flower from the flower unripened fruits from the unripened fruits the fruit like this uh, the life cycle of a plant it goes seed is uh, an important part of reproduction in plants seeds developing from seeds is one of the wonders of nature some plants apart from seeds produce new plants through stem buds and this you are going to learn in a higher classes a life cycle of a plant producing seeds from a seed is given here i have explained here they have given one activity what they have given here usually think he has given usually reproduction takes place by seeds in fruits how is the reproduction in a coconut tree and this uh, you have to discuss with your parent uh, or else with the teacher but uh, here the coconut tree there are male coconut trees are there and again female coconut trees are there and uh, reproduction takes place uh, activity has given reproduction of plants is advantageous to animals including man in many ways and this is uh, you have to write uh, advantages uh, to animals including man and write uh, few points uh, your own and here they have given a small an activity you have to do at home collect seeds from plants in your neighborhood in the beginning of rainy season now also you can do it children take fertile soil and make soil balls out of it in each of the soil ball insert a seed when rain starts plant them in the soil do this every year in this way some seeds you have put might grow very well in future and in karnataka we have not done like this in uh, uh, tamil nadu in andhra pradesh they have done like this uh, soil balls it means uh, they have gone out of some uh, project uh, outside of the uh, place uh, for excursion or picnic they went and uh, just they throw the soil balls what they have put in the soil balls uh, they can inserted one seed like this uh, throwing soil balls uh, then when the rain comes uh, the plants will go grow from that uh, seed i hope children you understood thank you